hello guys welcome back to my channel so today in this video we are going to learn about how to integrate microsoft login with the react native so i will show you both part app for android and ios both so let's get started for uh, get the microsoft login so for that we need to first uh, client id and tenant id so if you don't have a microsoft uh, login email id and then you have to create a uh, that account in Microsoft and then after you can back to this website and with this website you can create a mobile app project and you have to register your mobile app with your bundle ID or package ID uh, with these projects and after creating that bundle ID and project ID you can get the client ID and tenant ID so and also you have to add a callback URL so with the callback URL we can navigate to our application with the uh, login in Chrome or Safari in mobile app so this is the flow and if you want to know that how we can create a tenant ID and a client ID then comment below I will create a separate video for that so first uh, how we can create a uh, that login for the react native so let's uh, move for the vs code so i already have created uh, one project with this uh, name midwest so uh, i have one file that i have pointed in index with the app just and the next step that we have to first integrate the library so first step is uh, we have to download the library that is the yarn add react native app. so this is the library that we can install so in my package situation you can see uh, sorry app dash auth so you can see this library is already there and uh, there is multiple libraries we can use but I will prefer to use this library because this is a really stable version I used this one but it is not stable sometimes uh, they have some issues that uh, suddenly that app will not work so uh, I will prefer to use this uh, library react native app dash auth so I have installed this library then second step that we have to we have to add a uh, second thing is our android folder app folder then in build.gradle we have to add here one more property yeah that is the this let me copy paste here you can directly type this and here it would be our package name that would be here then second step that we have to do is in open this one you can see that uh, you have to put in a uh, build.gradle file which is contained in app folder okay and then next step the we have to follow is uh, open android manifest.xml file so main part is here that we have to really uh, take care of it so first of all uh, we will add one more uh, intent here for our callback library so let's add a new intent here intent data here that is let me copy paste directly so you can pause this video and you can directly use this content so what would be the here like uh, first is a normal the with our package and second is our host and scheme and path prefix uh, this is when we are use this we uh, website to create a project that time uh, we have to add this callback URL so our callback URL would be like this with this slash so this is our callback URL for the Android so, okay then second part is let's remove this one then second part is that uh, you have to add one more activity uh, for after login with the browser you have to uh, back to navigate with our application so we can create one more activity for that also 
I'm directly copy pasting it. You can see this content. You can pause the video and direct copy paste this one. Then third step. Now third step is let me save this. Save this. Then after let's our app get run. I'm using yarn here. Yarn run Android. And right now I'm using uh, Android emulator. Let's wait for it to uh, get run. Okay, so you can see that Metro is running and our application is also running. Okay, so you can see here our app.js part file is running. So first import this view, then uh, let me add button here I'm uh, normally taking the button you can use whatever you want to use here so button and title would be the login with Microsoft okay and then on press event I will add the logic here to navigate to Microsoft URL for a login purpose so let me create one more function here login Microsoft and here okay so here you can see login with Microsoft button you can see here so now next just we have to import the library that we have to use here so first i will import the library with the name of apoth so you can directly use this one okay i have copy pasted here that uh, library authorized then second part is i will add a configuration also so in the configuration let me right here let's take one variable that type is const configs equals to okay so here is a two uh, types that we have to pass identity server and second is a oath zero so here we there is a properties like uh, issuer in issuer uh, URL, URL would be this you can see and here tenant ID I cannot expose here the tenant ID okay so you can directly use this tenant ID so I have imported somewhere else okay then after second property is client ID okay and client ID also I am never gonna show you because it is a secret key okay then redirect URL and it would be the platform base because redirect URL is different with Android and iOS so I'm using like this for Android we are going to use this callback URL and for iOS we are going to use this callback URL so this all are the callback URL we have to mention on Azure Auth console okay when we are creating okay then next two properties is like this additional parameter and scopes in scopes we are adding profile email phone number and address if user has not uh, added as a private then it will show us the email id and all so i'm same thing using in auth0 as well okay so this is the part that we are done okay so next next part is here uh, we have to uh, log in with the microsoft so directly we will import this thing so for that uh, i will pass one argument here uh, with this identity server okay so here that one then here i will use that uh, property as a provider 
and then after I will create one more fun config and we already created the config so from that uh, based on a provider we will get the values here and then next uh, we can directly use authorize in authorize the first argument is config that we have created here then second argument is connection timeout second uh, let's me add here five then next is ios refer this would be the true okay then um okay so here this one is the response let's log here the next is a catch so in catch we will also write the error here so if there is any issue then directly we can get that what are the issues there okay so that's it uh, let's try to run this thing let me click here login with Microsoft you can see here it is uh, go with this uh, web page okay then after I'm clicking on continue then I'm using this one okay I added uh, credentials there and then after you can see I am directly getting the response from this website so there I'm getting access token ID token and we also need a username email ID but it is not here so I am also showing you that how we can get that thing also okay so just take this access token okay so with this access token to get the data like uh, username or email id so for that we will use another library so that library is already have installed here that you can see react native azure auth okay so just simply we have to install it there is a no any extra configuration because we already configured with this library so that configuration are the same okay then next is we have to import that library so let's import that library uh, we can import like this sorry it is not imported okay now you can see okay then after so when we get the response here res that time we have to call this library uh, that is the uh, with the azure auth so first we have to configure client id and tenant id in azure auth so here outside of our function we will configure that thing so second step is this one azure auth i am putting in small new then azure auth and here is a curly bracket in curly bracket first argument is client id that I already put in somewhere second is a tenant ID that is also I have added somewhere as I told I'm never gonna tell you okay then second is just directly use that variable okay so other auth other auth dot auth dot so this is the function so using this function we just have to pass that access token that we have get in response okay and second argument is path dash me okay so let me use as a variable add await also to await i have to add async also here then let me log this info okay so okay okay I refreshed login with Microsoft it's going browser then continue I'm using this one of the app okay so here we are getting something like a network request failed 
okay let's figure it out what is happening here see we are getting some errors so let me convert this function into callback so for callback uh, first const then equals to use callback if it is not import then you have to manually it would be the import async then provider then with this we have to add dependency array here okay then provider let's add await here so await let me add some variable okay now let's check okay then login with microsoft continue okay so you can see here my data that is a uh, mail it is uh, okay so email id is there and display name is there i'm going to hide this data because that is a personal data i'm, I'm not going to show you that what is my email id display id sorry display name so this is from my side and with this we can directly log in and we can get we can store this data in our database so thank you so much to watch this video if anything is missing or anything is mistake i'm also day by day improving and just uh, comment anything uh, next video that we you need with this topic or any related to react native topic so i will try to make the video with that topic so thank you so much subscribe my channel like my video thank you so much